Hi, this is Phil from Simple Tutor. This is a quick video describing how to connect your NT4 account to your chosen signal via the EA. When you subscribe to Signal and complete the payment process, you'll receive an email with login information and a login link. When you log in for the first time, you'll be on this page, My Signals, and your, your chosen signal will be requiring configuration. So you want to go ahead and click Edit Settings to start the configuration. So in the Edit Settings page, we have four main tabs here. Account Settings, Risk Money Management, Disabled Pairs, and Currency Mapping. For this video, we'll focus on Account Settings, which is the main setting required to configure your signal to your MT4 account. In other videos, we'll touch on the other three tabs. So first we have Connection Method, which is Expert Advisor. Next setting is MetaTrader Account Number. So this is your MT4 account number for your account. I've set up a demo account with IC Brokers for the purpose of this video, so I'll go ahead and paste that in here. And I'll select IC Markets for the demo broker account. Disable Fast Stats is set to No by default. Um, there's a Read More link here. If you want to click that, you'll get some more information on it. For the purpose of this video, we'll leave it at no by default. But if you were to want to change it to yes, just click the drop down and pick yes. And that's it. Single trade is only relevant if you're a US based broker and restricted by FIFO rules and hedging. Again, there's a read more link here for full information, but um, as this demo account isn't a US based broker, it's not relevant, so we'll leave it at no as default. Max slippage is set to 3 by default. Slippage is defined by the price difference in the signal account and the price on your account. In some circumstances the signal price will be better than the price on your account. If you have the slippage setting set to 3 as it is in default, your account will still take the trade if it's 3 pips or less in a worse position than the signal account. Any higher and it will ignore the trade until it comes back within that range. You can adjust this number higher or lower based on your own personal preference. Trade comment. This is a descriptive name for the signal. This will show on the open trades and the trade activity and view activity section and also on the MT4 comment field. For this signal it's called Pipsopolis, so we'll put Pipso for short. Disable signal. If you want to disable your signal at any stage you can tick this and save the settings. That will stop it from taking any new trades. You can untick it and save it and then that you recommence in your signal. Alert by email if signal disconnects. If for any reason your copier disconnects to the server, with this setting ticked you will get an email warning of this. SMS alerts. The same as signal disconnects email, but you can also get SMS for open trades and closed trades. This is a paid option that requires credits. You can click on this link here to get full information on it. Copy take profit and copy stop loss. Um, these are set to yes by default, you have the option to turn these off. This is really down to the type of signal you're following. Not every signal will use a hard stop loss and take profit. If they do and you want to follow them exactly on your account, you can use this and select yes. In any case, if you do not copy the take profit or stop loss, when the signal trade closes, your trade will always close. So it's an extra precautionary measure really. Finally we have my notes. This is just uh, a notepad just to jot down some information on the settings you've set up for future reference. You can leave this blank, it's purely optional. So we've now set up the settings, we want to click update to set them in place. You'll get a confirmation success, edit successfully at the top of the page. We've now set up the account settings section, this is to do with the MT4 connection. So we can go to an overview of the signal by clicking on my signals. You'll now see that your MT4 account number is in place where it used to say signal requires configuration. At this stage we don't have a heartbeat, it says never. This is because you haven't connected the EA yet to MT4. Until you do that it won't change from never. When you do have a connection it should show XS. Okay, so we now need to download the EA to put into the export folders of MT4. So when I go to the download section, click here. Simple Trader Receiver EA version 1.7. Right click and click here. Save link as. 
and save the file to somewhere on your desktop where you'll be able to find it. Once the file is downloaded, we'll minimize the browser. You'll now see your EA on the desktop in a zip file. Firstly, you want to unzip that. Okay, so we now have our EA folder. If you click inside it, you'll see there's three different, there's two folders in one file. All three items need to be copied to the experts folder of your MT4. If you don't copy all the contents, your EA will not function correctly. So you want to select all and copy, and then navigate to your MT4 folder. In this example, we're using an IC Markets demo, so I'm going to navigate to it in the Experts folder. Right click in the white area and paste it. Click Yes for any of these windows that pop up. And continue to copy the folder. So now I have our three items in the uh, MT4 Experts folder. So we can now start or restart our MT4 window. So now within MT4 we need to check a few settings to make sure the MT4 terminal is ready to run EAs. Firstly you want to go to Tools and Options and look for the Expert Advisors tab. You need to tick the four outside boxes and have the four inside boxes unticked. Once you have that click OK. Some MT4 terminals by default will have this Expert Advisor button at red for stop. So you can click out the toggle between red and green for go. So you need it to be green to go to work. Thirdly, we'll need to make sure that all prices are showing in the Market Watch window. If any prices are missing, the EA will not realize that the currency pair exists. And for that reason, we'll not take trades on that pair. The easiest way to do this is to go to Show All. Now we've checked those three things, we want to go ahead and set the EA onto the chart. To do that, right click Simple Trader 1.7, touch the chart. The Common tab should be OK as we've set the relevant tick boxes and tools options. And you want to check the Inputs tab. For 1.7 and above, you need to enter your UID. Your UID can be found back on the website in the top left corner beside your name. So 1934 is my UID. So I'm going to double click, paste the number in there, click OK. So if all is correct you should get your signal name and active in the bottom right corner. And any trades that are open will be listed in this list here. Status out of range basically means that that trade is open but is in the money and beyond your slippage setting and so for that reason will not trade until it comes back within due to your max slippage setting. So that confirms that everything's connected. We can go back to the website now and check the heartbeat to see if it's changed from never. So you'll now see that your heartbeat now shows 4S, so that means we're connected now fully to the signal.